Welcome back to part two of rotations and dilations. Dilations. A dilation is a similarity transformation that enlarges or reduces a figure proportionally. Dilations are completed with respect to a center point and a scale factor. <clears throat> is a dilation an isometry? Recall that an isometry preserves the size and shape. Okay, so if we're going to make something enlarge or reduce a figure, it's not going to keep the same size. It may keep the same shape, but it is definitely not an isometry. Okay. Dilations in the coordinate plane. To find the coordinates of an image after the dilation, centered at the origin, multiply the x and y coordinates of each point on the pre-image by the scale factor of the dilation. And we're going to use r as our variable for that. So if we start with an xy, then we'll do x times r and y times r as our rule. So for example, Triangle ABC ha has vertices A at negative 2, negative 2, B at 1, negative 1, and C at 2, negative 4. Find the image of triangle ABC after a dilation centered at the origin with a scale factor of 2. So we're going to multiply everything, all of the coordinates, by 2. Okay, so our A prime is going to be at negative 4, negative 4. B prime will be at 1 times 2 is 2, negative 2. And our C prime will be at 4, negative 8. So we'll plot our original at negative 2, negative 2. Uh, these at 1, negative 1, and our C is at 2, negative 4, and our dilation, negative 4, negative 4, two, negative 2, And our C is 4, negative 8. Okay, a scale factor less than 1 will reduce the pre-image, and the scale factor greater than 1 will enlarge the pre-image. So for example, when R is 3, will it produce a larger or smaller image? So 3 will be a larger. One third scale factor makes it smaller. 2.5 is greater than 1, so that's a larger. 7 fourths actually is 1.75, so it's an improper fraction. So even just because it's a fraction doesn't make it smaller. So this one also is larger. This is almost a 1, so of course it's smaller. And 6 fifths is also greater than 1, about it's 1.2, so that's a larger figure. Alright, so here we have our figure. Um, find the coordinates and graph the dilation after the given scale factor as one third. So we have A is at 0, 0, B is at 3, 3, C is at 6, 0, and D is at 3, negative 3. So when we multiply each of these um, coordinates by one third, 
we get A is at still at 0, 0. C prime is at 2, 0. D prime is going to be at 1, negative 1. And our uh, B prime will be at 1, 1. So we have our A prime. This is our C prime, B prime, and D prime. And so our figure is, our image is one third the size of our pre-image. But what happens when the center of dilation is not at the origin? So we will need to find the distance between the pre-image points and the center of dilation. Then use the scale factor to find new points. So our first pre-image is A, and it's at 5, negative 2. So I'm going to find the distance for with my x and my y. So 5 minus negative 3 is 8. So I have an 8 here. And negative 2, so this is 5 minus 8. And then I have a negative 2 minus 4 gives me negative 6. So this is my original change. Now I multiply these by the scale factor, which is 1 half. And I get 8 times 1 half is 4. Is four. And my negative 6 times 1 half is negative 3. And so that's the distance away from the point. So now we're going to move it to this from move that point from the center. So we actually add those center points, those center coordinates. So 4 plus negative 3 is going to give me a 1, and the negative 3 plus 4 gives me a positive 1. So my A prime is going to be at 1, 1. Okay, so let's do our B is originally at 2, 2. Okay, so 2 minus negative 3 is positive 5, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, half of both of those I get 2.5 and negative 1. So then when I subtract 3 from that I get negative 1 half and 3. This is my B prime, negative 1 half 3. my B prime. Okay, now we'll do it to the C. This is at negative 5, 2. So I find the distance between my x's. So negative 5 minus negative 3 is negative 2. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Multiply both of those by 1 half, and then we're going to, our C prime will be negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4, and 3. Negative 4, 3. So this is my, we've got my our, pre, our image and our pre-image. All right, let's do this, this one. We're going to dilate by 4 using the center of 3, 4. So our original point is A at 3, 2, our B is at 4, 2, and our C is at 2, 3. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract our 3 from our um, center. So 3 minus 3 is 0. Multiply that by 4, and I still have 0. Then I'm going to add the 
three from my um, center. And so my A prime will be at three comma. All right, so two minus four is negative two times four is negative eight plus four gives me negative four. For this one, a four minus three is one times the four plus the four. I mean, I'm sorry, plus the three. Gives me seven. And then two minus four is negative two times four is negative eight plus four is negative four. Okay, on this one I have two minus three is negative one and three minus four is negative one. We're going to multiply both of these by four. We have negative four, negative four. Now I'm going to add three and add four. So I end up with C prime is at negative one, zero. That's what you do when your center of dilation is not at the origin. Okay, so here we have perimeter and dilations. So the perimeter of the image will be equal to the product of the perimeter of the image of the pre-image and the scale factor. So for example, if the side is five long, five times, one is five, has a scale factor of five, so the one side is five times bigger than the other side, then the same thing, the perimeter of the small one, big one will be five times bigger. Okay, so my point is, if a square has sides of four centimeters, and its scale factor, and is dilated by a scale factor of five, what's the effect on the perimeter? So this would be, I would multiply each one each side by 5 and get 20. So then I have 20 on all sides. And so my perimeter here is 16. The perimeter here is 80, which is five, 16 times 5.